Before I knew I was trans, I sucked at being a girl. I sucked at learning all of the prescribed rules. I was force-fed in this world. I sucked at keeping my knees together, wearing the skirt that they chose. I sucked at finding an identity to fit in piles of hand-me-down clothes. I sucked at keeping the house clean and keeping my brother happy. I sucked at getting the dishes done while the boys played games over napping. I sucked at fitting the expectations my mother had for me about everything. I couldn't make the label she gave repair the tear in my identity like a bandage, all because I bleed. I couldn't make the name that she gave steer toward a place that wasn't vacant. I couldn't fill the hole between us, couldn't find a way to complete us. Failure stumbling over itself, trying harder to become less, annoying persistence trying too hard, never settling into rest, projected lies internalized, agonized muffled cries. Before I knew I was trans, I knew that I didn't fit. I knew that I was other with some layers on top of it. I knew that each piece of me distanced my identity from the norm. I knew that my form could only leave me torn. I knew that I was rejected for never being enough, even though I mimicked the motions of the sexy, the smart, and the tough. Going through their rights to gain passage, I stepped right up. Let me check off the box that says I belong. Let me try on all of your discordant songs. Let me find a little corner in your definition of being, where maybe I could hide all of my wrongness from your seeing. It's standing outside of yourself, never feeling in, inside your own skin, because the crushing weight of expectations demolishes you again. It's knowing you can't win before you begin. And it's trying every day like it matters anyway, because you know that there's this beauty when you put all of that away. Because you know you're valid, though no one else will say, even when it feels like it's betrayal to believe it, deceiving some external source of me. Non-binary skin labels don't stick to find adhesive cohesion for others a home, but for you, a lesion. Treated like a disease to all you've displeased by being hard to read. Just a person underneath. Suffocating, waiting, relentless hesitating, self-acceptance is hollow when there's no place for you in this world because I sucked at being a girl, because I was never meant to don pearls, and this was the only conversation I heard in the binary between misogynists and turfs. Patterns of erasure, patterns of displacement, patterns of something else, patterns of hatred, cycling through patterns till we fall through the cracks, spiraling down regardless of facts, a cyclone removal of family and friends, till I was lost enough to find myself again. Until this neo-vocabulary caught up with me until my eldest, now in their teens, asked, Are you sure you're not an envy? One word that finally brought peace.